This video is generally just a pretty simple, straightforward example of how to build up a query if you're starting from scratch with one table. We've shown this before, but just to show you in a more um, direct, more step by step manner. So, working with one table and one table only. Remember, if you're querying a table, querying a database, you're looking for a specific set of information, an information based upon a certain criteria. It could be a name, it could be an address, it could be an ID number, it could be where someone lives, you know, it could be anything depending on whatever the question asks you. What we are going to do now is to search the database of employees and we're going to look for, we can try looking for different things to give you an example of, of how it works. First of all, we're going to search for people who have a line manager of Janice Watson and then we're going to do a second search for people who have who are assistants and then we might try and search for a specific department. Now, let's see, to start a query, remember you're looking at your database, you go to create and in this case, because it's only one table, I would go to query wizard and then select a simple query wizard. Now, um, it doesn't really matter if you go through query design or query wizard. Um, this is generally just the way I learn, so it's a bit of a habit really. Now this is where you choose to put in certain bits of information. So let's put in ID, first name, surname, job title, department, and employee number. Um, we're not going to put in line manager because that's what we're going to search for. So let's click next. And we want our detail. And we'll give it a more meaningful title. This time I want to search for to search for Janice Watson's employees. Call it Janet Watson stuff. And then let's go to finish. So I'll finish first of all. First of all, modify the design, then finish. And then under Let's see. I forgot to add line manager. So we'll add line manager back in and then we'll untick the box. And then put in Janice Watson. I just made a lot of mistake. I forgot to add Janice Watson. I wasn't really thinking about what I was doing there. So we add in line manager under Janice Watson. Now I've unticked the box there. That's because I decided that I didn't want to show the name. And, and show that field so it will still include it in the query it just won't appear as a field in the query so remember to run our query we click on the red exclamation mark for run and it gives us all of Janet Watson's staff now if you go back and look at our design again it's quite easy to change if you let's take out Janet Watson just for an example and let's see we tick this box again to include the line manager and run the query it brings back all the results once more let's go to I'll take you back to the process again go to create and query wizard simple wizard and let's move all the fields over on this occasion and um, make sure we're taking from the correct table. Click on next and next again. And we'll finish. Now let's see, we want to look for on this occasion things that are specific job titles. So let's look for This should bring us up everyone who is an assistant. Right. We run and it searches for everyone who is an assistant. So you get the idea, queries are all about making it easy to gather and search information. I hope this has been helpful. There will be more videos to follow.